Assalamu alaikum and good morning internet. Welcome to Fatma Jinnah Park, which is also called F9 Park, Islamabad. Dear friends, Islamabad, the capital of Pakistan is known for its striking beauty, modern architecture and greenery. In this city, you can find many beautiful places to spend your quality time with families and friends. It is located before Margala Hills, which are the foothills of the Karakorum Range. The best planned city of Pakistan with least populated, least polluted and green city. Today, your Makai Bro is here to explore Fatima Jinnah Park, commonly referred to as F9 Park. Stands out as one of the largest and most popular recreational areas in Pakistan. It comes under the administration of Capital Development Authority, shortly named CDA, sprawling over an area of about 750 acres and just smaller than New York's Central Park. This park is named after Miss Fatima Jinnah, the sister of the founder of Pakistan, Qaidi Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah, who was an instrumental figure in the Pakistan movement. This park was designed by Michael Japero and it took him five years to design it because it has a lot of sections and is spread over 7907.37 canal land. It was inaugurated in 1992. This park's original master plan prepared by the Japan International Cooperation Agency was revised in 2005 by a well-known Pakistani architect Nayar Ali Jada. F9 Park landscape is considered an ideal place for photography and events. The three domes, Islamabad, Art Gallery, Beautiful Mosque, Baradari, Bagha Shahada or Mater's Garden, the landscapes, fountains, rocks, walking jogging tracks, lush green areas, foundation stone, Evani Kaid, the ponds, kids play area, tennis court, swimming pool, open gym area, and many other things make it the most attractive visitor point for locals as well as for foreigners. Do visit please. Entry in the park is generally free, though some events or exhibition may require a nominal fee. F9 Park Islamabad is a huge recreational park and has five gates facing different sectors like gate number one is called Mehran Gate and is facing the G9 sector. Gate number two is called Bolan Gate and is facing the F10 sector. Gate number three is called Khaybar Gate and faces E9 sector. Gate number four is Ravi Gate and is facing F8 sector. And the last gate, number five, leads to the Citizen Club Mass Vaccination Center. There is a parking lot, mosque and public toilet at each entrance. This park opens for public from morning till sunset. In this vlog, I'm going to show and share with you some valuable and interesting sites of this park. So let's start. This first beautiful, prominent and architecturally significant structure is called Baradari, which is centrally located in the park. It is in the very beginning of Fatma Jinnah Park when you enter from Bolan Gate, also called F10 Marcus Gate. It is designed in the traditional Mughal architectural style 
characterized by its open airy structure with 12 doors. The name Baradari is derived as Bara means 12 and Dari means Darwaza in Urdu language. The structure typically features elegant arches, pillars and a central elevated platform all made of white marble or sandstone. Traditionally, Baradari were used as places for social gatherings, recreational activities and as shelter from the heat. This Baradari in F9 park serves a similar purpose. It is a popular spot for visitors to relax, enjoy the surroundings gardens and take in the view of the park. It's also frequently used for small public gatherings, cultural events and as a place for leisure. It is surrounded by lush green lawns, walking paths and flower beds. Do visit. Dear friends, here comes Bagh Shohada or Martyr's Garden, a sacred place and solemn memorial garden dedicated to honoring the martyrs of Pakistan, particularly those who have sacrificed their lives in the defense of the country. It serves as a place of reflection and reverence, attracting visitors who come to pay their respects to the foreign heroes. Displayed here are some of the martyrs statues like Captain Colonel Shere Khan, Captain Muhammad Sarwar, Major Raja Aziz Bhatti, Major Shabir Sharif, Major Tufel Muhammad, Lieutenant Mir Balaj Buxi, Flying Officer Maryam Mukhtiar, Major Muhammad Akram, Sawar Muhammad Hussain, Pilot Officer Rashid Menhas, Lance Naik Muhammad Mehfuz, Brigadier Mustafa Kamal Barki, Hawaldar Lalik Chan, Chaudhry Aslam Khan, Senior Superintendent of Police, and many other great soldiers. Situated within the expansive F9 Park, Bagh Shahada or Martyr's Garden is strategically placed to offer a serene environment away from the more crowded areas of the park. This makes it an ideal spot for quiet reflection. The garden is accessible via various pathways within the park with clear signage guiding visitors to this sacred space. The garden features a well-planned landscape with lush green lawns, benches for visitors to sit and reflect as well as pathways lined with plants and flowers symbolizing life and renewal, mature trees that provide shade and a sense of tranquility. The design emphasizes simplicity and solemnity appropriate for a memorial space. Center to the garden is this prominent monument or series of plaques that list the names of the martyrs, often accompanied by inscriptions or poetry in the different province languages of Pakistan that highlight their bravery and the importance of their sacrifice. This monument also features the national flag adding a patriotic element to the site. The area may be adorned with symbols of national pride such as the crescent and the star or horses from national poetry that evoke themes of sacrifice and patriotism. Bagh Shahada or Martyr's Garden is more than just a memorial. It is a symbol of national pride and a reminder of the sacrifice made by the countless individuals for the country's security and freedom. Do visit. Guys, this garden is a popular spot for families of the martyrs as well as the general public who visit to pay homage, particularly on national days of remembrance, such as Defense Day, September 6, or Martyrs Day. The serene environment of Bagh Shahada or Martyrs Garden offers 
visitors a peaceful space for contemplation. The well-maintained garden and respectful atmosphere make it a fitting tribute to the martyrs. It is also a site where educational and commemorative events may be held particularly on significant national holidays, fostering a deeper connection between visitors and the history of Pakistan's struggle and triumph. Bagh Shohada in F9 Park is a place where the past is honored and the values of courage, sacrifice and patriotism are celebrated, ensuring that the memories of Pakistan's martyrs continue to inspire future generations. Do visit. Friends, these are three domes, which is the highest site in F9 Park, which has a distinct and eye-catching structure known for its unique architecture design. These domes are large, semi-circular structures made of concrete characterized by their clean, modern lines. They are hollow, open structures without any walls, allowing visitors to walk through or sit beneath them. While primarily decorative, the domes symbolize the blend of modern urban design with natural elements reflecting Islamabad's identity as a city that harmonizes nature with urban development. Centrally located, the domes are accessible from various paths within the park. Their prominent placement makes them a focal point for visitors. Guys, the space around the domes is often used for leisure activities like picnics or casual gatherings. The open design allows for unobstructed views of the sky, making it a popular spot for photography, especially during sunrise or sunset. The area is also used occasionally for small public events or art installations, adding to its cultural relevance within in the park. These domes are more than just architecture features, they contribute to the identity of F9 Park. As a place where modern design meets nature, offering a serene environment for visitors. Do visit please. Dear friends, the most prominent site in F9 Park is this solar panels installed here are the part of a significant green energy initiative aimed at reducing the park's carbon footprint and promoting sustainability. These panels are a key element in the city's broader strategy to integrate renewable energy into public infrastructure. The project aimed to make F9 Park one of the largest urban parks in Islamabad more self-sufficient in terms of energy consumption. These installed solar panels have a total capacity of approximately 0.85 megawatt or 850 kilowatt enough to power various facilities within the park. On average, these panels generate 
around 3000 to 3500 kilowatt hours per day depending on weather conditions and daylight hours. The solar panels are installed on the rooftops of buildings within the park such as the Arts and Craft Village and the Parks Administrative Offices as well as in open sunny areas that optimize solar exposure. Some panels are also installed near parking areas and along certain pathways to power lighting and other utilities. The solar panels help reduce the park's reliance on the national power grid, leading to significant reductions in electricity cost. The system offsets approximately 600 tons of CO2 emissions annually, contributing to the city's efforts to combat climate change. This project was funded through a combination of government grants and public-private partnerships aimed at boosting green infrastructure. The initial investment in the solar panels were recovered through energy savings within the few years, making it a cost-effective solution in the long term. Regular maintenance is carried out to ensure the panels operate efficiently, including cleaning and checking for any technical issues. The park management monitors the energy output and ensures that the system is running at optimal performance. The project also serves an educational purpose with information boards and signage around the park explaining the benefits of solar energy and the specifics of the installation. In short, the solar panels installed at this park represents a successful implementation of renewable energy technology in a public space providing significant environmental and economic benefits while promoting awareness of sustainable practices. Do visit. Friends, behind me is a monument which is named the United Nations Monument. It is a symbol of Pakistan's commitment to the principles and values of the United Nations. This monument was inaugurated on October 24, 2017 in commemoration of United Nations Day. The design reflects the unity and cooperation among the nations of the world embodying the essence of the UN's mission to promote peace, security and development. This monument serves as a reminder of Pakistan's active role in the United Nations and its contributions to global peacekeeping and humanitarian efforts. It also symbolizes the universal ideals of human rights, dignity and international cooperation that the UN strives to uphold. The inauguration ceremony was attended by representatives from the United Nations, government officials of Pakistan, diplomats and members of civil society. The event highlighted the importance of multilateralism and Pakistan's dedication to working with the international community to address global challenges. Here, it stands as a testament to the enduring partnership between Pakistan and the United Nations, reflecting the country's ongoing commitment to global peace and cooperation. Do visit this place. Friends, Awani Khayet is also a prominent place to visit. This monument 
and cultural center dedicated to Qaidi Azim Muhammad Ali Jinnah. Its total area is approximately 9,000 square feet. It has a big auditorium, typically seating capacity around 250 to 300 people. It is managed by the Capital Development Authority, shortly named CDA. It has a modern style with traditional influences and made with materials like primary concrete and glass with landscaped gardens surrounding the structure. Photographs, documents and multimedia related to Qaidi Azam displayed in exhibition halls. Its auditorium used for seminars, talks and educational programs. Its meeting rooms are for culture and education events. Ewanekai is a site of national significance, hosting events on major national holidays such as Pakistan Day on March 23rd and Independence Day on August 14th. It regularly hosts annual events celebrating Qaidi Azam's birth on December 25th, death anniversary on September 11th and other significant national days. Various programs aimed at educating the youth about Qaidi Azam's life and Pakistan's history. These facts and figures provide a concise overview of Emane Kite's importance and role within Islamabad F9 Park. Dear friends, behind me is a very big and well-maintained kids' play area. It is located after entering from Khyber Gate No. 3 in F9 Park, Islamabad. The kids' park occupies approximately 4 to 5 acres. This space includes both active play area and quiet zones for rest and relaxation. The park features several dozens pieces of equipment including multiple swings, slides, climbing frames, and interactive installations designed for various age groups. Equipment includes swings, slides of different sizes, climbing structures, and several other seesaws and spring riders. The ground is covered with the rubberized safety flooring or soft mulch to minimize the risk of injury. Here, first aid is also available in case of any injury. Shaded areas with sun shades or covered pavilions provide protection from direct sunlight. The Kids Park attracts an estimated 1,000 to above 1,500 visitors per day with numbers increasing during weekends and school holidays. Regular maintenance includes daily inspections of equipment for safety, weekly cleaning and periodic repairs to ensure everything is in good working order. The park includes accessible pathways and ramps for wheelchairs and strollers making it user-friendly for families with diverse needs. There are benches and sitting areas for parents and guardians. Nearby restrooms and refreshment kiosks are available to enhance the visitor's experience. Interactive features and education boards provides information about local flora and fauna, promoting learning through play. This kids park is designed to be a safe, engaging and well-maintained area that supports recreational and educational activities for children in a natural setting. All kids of the world are welcome here. Friends, 
nestled within this sprawling 750 acres of F9 Park, the Islamabad Art Gallery is a dedicated space for contemporary art. This gallery has a moderate exhibition space designed to host small to medium-sized art shows. It was inaugurated in 2018 as part of an initiative to promote art in public spaces. It regularly hosts 8 to 10 exhibitions annually, featuring works from both emerging and established Pakistani artists. It focuses on contemporary art including paintings, sculptures, digital art and mixed media. The gallery can comfortably accommodate around 50 to 80 visitors at a time free entry for the public with occasional ticketed events for special exhibitions. This gallery is a key culture spot in Islamabad's offering a platform for artistic expression in a public setting. Friends, whether you are here for a morning jog, a family picnic, or just to unwind after a long day, F9 Park has something for everyone. It's more than just a park. It's the lungs of Islamabad, where nature, culture, and community come together. So next time you are in the capital, make sure to visit and experience the tranquility and beauty of F9 Park. Hope you liked today's detailed vlog. Next time we will visit some more important places of Pakistan and will share valuable information with you. Till then, take care of yourself and your family. Bye-bye.